From the application program's point of view, making use of the compare and swap or test and set methods to deal with the critical section problem uh, brings its own complexity and you have to be very careful in programming. So the operating system designers come up with tools that uh, make control of critical sections much easier. So the first one we're going to discuss here now will be the Mutex. Mutex actually uh, provides a way to uh, control a lock uh, and uh, have access to the critical section in a mutually exclusive manner, hence the name Mutex. And to provide this, the Mutex structure pro uh, provides us uh, two functions, the acquire function and the release function, which must be implemented as uh, atomic uh, functions. Uh, and what they do is, when you want to enter a critical section, like in the next slide here, when you want to enter a critical section, you first try to acquire the lock, well, if the lock is available, of course. If not, you will have to wait until the lock becomes available. But once you get the lock, you can enter your critical section, and when you're done, you can release the lock for the other waiting processes to complete. However, to implement the acquired method here, as you can see in the implementation here, you have a while loop that's working on a, a Boolean variable, let's call it available. So the process that calls acquire here will get stuck in this loop until the uh, Boolean variable available becomes true. But while it's false, since you're stuck here, you're still making use of the CPU. The process that calls acquire will have to be scheduled into the CPU. But in fact, it's not doing any useful thing. It's not progressing at all. It will check the variable. So remember that checking uh, accessing the variable in the memory takes some time. It will check the variable, it's false, so the negation of that would be true. So you just uh, do nothing in this uh, nop here, no operation, and check again, nop, check, nop, check. You're just stuck there, that's why you're not progressing at all. But unfortunately, you're wasting valuable CPU time. This is why it's called busy waiting. Okay? Because the process, and therefore also the CPU, are busy here, just waiting, just doing redundant checks, actually. This is also called a spin lock, because this time the process here is not progressing, it's just spinning where it is on a lock, hence the name spin lock. Anyways, when it becomes available, that means the available uh, boolean is true, this uh, loop will break and the process now is able to progress but it should first convert uh, the value of available back to false so that it, keep, it can prevent other uh, processes uh, from uh, entering their critical sections. In the case of release, things are much easier. You just convert available into true. So, uh, in a nutshell, mutex provides mutual exclusion when you enter a critical section. That means there can be only one process in, the, in its critical section, while others are either waiting or they're in their remainder section. But no one else is in critical section, hence the name uh, mutex. But also note that it requires the process that's waiting is still stealing CPU time from the other processes. It's keeping the CPU busy uh, just to check that actually it cannot do anything. 